Hi guys, happy Friday. We're gonna get started with our workout today. So you just need a couple of weights or no weight at all. Uh, options to use no weight. And we're gonna get going with our warm up right away. Get the music started. We're gonna start with hamstring curls. Kick your bum, keep your chest lifted and pull the elbows back. So we only have four rounds of work today. A little Tabata, a little strength, a little bit of everything. Send your arms nice and long, pull the elbows back. Just a few more seconds here. Quick warm up today, just a minute and a half. Keep going. Feet go wide, we're gonna squat down and extend up. Push the knees out, lift the chest as you extend. And if you want more, add a heel raise, squeeze your bum. At the bottom, add a little pulse and extend high. Shoulders stay back down, belly button in towards spine. Two more times here. Toe tap, warm up the hamstrings. Try and touch your toes if you're down here. Nothing wrong with that. Stretch out those hip flexors. And shoulder windmill. Forward and back. In 10 seconds, we get into our workout. Your first move, plank position, Alternating shoulder tap. We go in three, two, one. Wrists under shoulders. Belly button in towards spine. Anytime you could take this to your knees or come into a kneeling position. If you are up on your toes, back of the knees towards the ceiling, and you want a nice big core brace so you're not twisting open too much, we want to be working the shoulders, the abs in this position. Three, two, one, rest. Your second Tabata move for this set. Bear position, and we keep tapping. We're in, in five seconds. Three, two, one, wrists under shoulders, lift your knees up. So same thing, you wanna use your obliques so we're not twisting open too much. Knees hover, but if you need to, you could drop them down to the floor. Roll the shoulders back and down. Deep breaths in and out here. 10 seconds to recovery. Three, two, one, rest. Those are your two Tabata moves for this set of work. In 10 seconds, we go back to the plank with the shoulder tap. Find your plank position, wrist on your shoulders, roll those shoulders back, lift your body up, squeeze your bum, squeeze your legs, squeeze your core. And remember if you need it, we're down on the knees. If the tap is too much at any point, feel free to hold the plank and just watch as you move it, you're not pulling back too much. We wanna keep our wrists under our shoulders, so shift your body weight forward. Three, two, one, rest. 15 to recover, back to our bear position with shoulder tap. Roll up the shoulders, forward and back. Reset the bear, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. Tailbone tucks under, belly button in. Three, two, one, lift up and tap. So if you start to find that your bum's coming up in the air, take a little active recovery by dropping your knees. And then when you're ready, you can lift your knees up. You want them to hover over the floor. We don't want to be way up. Nice flat back. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Take your 15 recovery. We have one more of each move. And then the longer block of strength. Reset, 
three, two, one. We're going into our plank. As we get tired, the shoulders like to creep forward, so roll them back and down. Push through the heels. Three, two, one, rest. One more of our bear hold shoulder tap, then we'll move on. Reset. Tuck your toes under. Three, two, one. A strong core. Lift the knees and top it out. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, 15 seconds to recover. We move on to our strength. Two weights, if you've got them. Bear hold, alternating row. We're in three, two, one. Find that solid bear position. Elbow close to the body. Anytime you need to, drop your knees. And if you don't have weights, you can still do this move. Just pull your hand off. Really focus on resistance. So think of pushing away from something and then resisting on the way back down. So we're engaging the arms, the shoulders the whole time. Nice and strong. You can alternate between levels if you're really fatiguing and you're losing form. So fine to drop down for a few reps. Come back up for a few reps. So now that we have the weight, we have something to pull on to. So your body's gonna wanna really open up. Don't let it belly button in, so we stay square to the floor. Deep breath sitting out here. Heart rate climbing from this extended block of work. But recovery is coming in 20 seconds. Three, two, one, 30 second breather. Once that done, we have three more to go. We go back to Tabata training. Your first Tabata move, lateral bear crawls. You know, I love my bears. So we're gonna find that position with the shoulders back and down, belly button is in, flat back. Three, two, one, lift your knees, and we walk across, and we walk back. If the walking's not working for you, you can hold your bear position, drop to the knees anytime you need to. We want to keep the back flat, so watch that your bum doesn't come up, like we talked about in the first block of work. Nice and solid, nice and strong. 10 seconds to recovery. Three, two, one, rest. Your second Tabata move, we're gonna roll over, soles of the feet together, knees out, triceps to the floor and lift your hips, squeeze your bum. Frog pumps. Three, two, one, lift and squeeze. So as you get tired, your knees are gonna wanna come in together, push them out, keep them away, and keep squeezing your bum. This is a great move to strengthen the back of the body. Big squeeze, keep pushing your feet together, the soles of the feet together. Belly button is still drawn in towards the spine, our core is nice and strong. Three, two, one, rest. Two down, four to go. We roll back over for our bear crawl. Reset the upper body. 
three, two, one, lateral crawl. Feeling those abs working so hard here to keep our position. And much more challenging <laughs> if your space to move is really small. So you're struggling with moving, trying to hold the bare position in one spot. Three, two, one, roll over. Soles and the feet together, knees out. Triceps push into the floor, belly button in. Three, two, one, lift your hips, squeeze your bum. If you wanna get more to the glutes, you can lift your shoulder blades off the floor, bring your feet closer to your bum, and you can probably feel this more into the hip flexors and the glutes. So fine, keep your head down. If that's more comfortable, find out with the shoulder blades up if you want just a little bit more. Rest. One more of each. Five seconds, we're back in. So find that bear position. Last time we do bears today. Well, maybe. <laughs> 30 seconds. I wouldn't want to lie to you. So maybe they're coming up again. Keep breathing, keep hovering those knees. Three, two, one, roll over. Last Tabata for this round of work. Choose your level. Feet together, push your feet together. Three, two, one, lift and squeeze. Whatever your options, feel a little closer to your glutes. Lift the shoulder blades up if you want to get a little bit more into your glutes. Head down, still a great option. Whatever is more comfortable for you. Keep pushing your knees out. Keep pushing your feet together. Let it go. Amazing job. Our 90 seconds of strength. Core focus. Elevators. Yay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Find your plank position. Wrist from the shoulders. Roll the shoulders back. Knee to elbow. Knee to wrist. Back to elbow. Back to plank. Alternate legs. So notice the arms are straight. It's my core that's moving my body up and down slightly. You can also do this on the knees. It's a very advanced move for the core. So you're gonna feel it really along the obliques. Anytime you need to, take an active recovery by holding the plank on the toes of the knees, or sit back at any time, roll out the shoulders, roll out the wrists, whatever you need to do to get through. Belly button is still in towards the spine. We've still got a nice flat back. Our shoulders are back and down. Twenty seconds. Hang on, we're almost there. Three, two, one. Ooh, 30 second breather. Awesome job, roll up the shoulders, back and forward, halfway through the workout. We're gonna grab our weights again. So our tomato for this one, find stability balance in one leg, single leg, deadlift, okay? 
We do one round on one leg, other round on the other leg. Roll the shoulders back and down. 30 seconds. Find that strength stability in your standing leg. Hinge. Keep the shoulders back. So you want to look at a spot on the floor about six feet in front of you, a spot that's not moving. It's going to help with your balance. If one weight is, if two weights is too much, you can use one. You can either keep it in the hand the same as leg back, bit of a challenge for the balance, or if you're really struggling with your balance on the other side. 15 second recovery, same move, other leg. So we set up first, soft knee. Really get that strength in your standing leg. Roll the shoulders back, belly button in. Hinge from hips. Keep the weights close to your body. Tip. Balance. It's the strength in the core that's gonna help you with your balance. Slow and steady wins the race, and if you fall out of it, like I keep doing, no problem. If you need to, you can tap that toe down. Three, two, one, shake it out. We'll go back to the first leg. Reset. Three, two, one, hinge. So again, our core is coming in here. We don't want to twist open as we hinge. Try and stay square and breathe. Balance always a problem sometimes, especially if you have a busy mind, it's hard. Mind-body connection. Three, two, one. I'm gonna switch over, <laughs> my friend is back. <laughs> 10 seconds, reset. Three, two, one, 30 seconds. Balance. So you'll probably notice one side is harder than the other. So if you need to, nothing wrong with tapping that toe down or losing the weight. Three, two, one. One more on each side, then we move on. <laughs> Shoulders back down. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> you guys keep going, I'm gonna move the cat out of the way. <laughs> I know. Star of the show, this one here. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, shake it out. Last one on this other side, then we move on to our strength. Get that belly button nice and strong towards the spine. Tailbone under. Solid foundation, 30 seconds. Really push your big toe into the floor, especially if you're struggling with your balance. Three, two, one. Thank goodness, let that one go. <laughs> your 90 seconds of strength. Lighter weight or no weight. You're gonna sit back on your bum bones, arms nice and long, and twist. Let's do it, 90 seconds. So keep the shoulders back, belly button in towards the spine, and follow the weight with your eyes. So as we get tired, our shoulders are going to want to creep up. Keep them rolled back and down. Belly button in. No problem to lose the weight or tap the weight on the floor. 
So just a slight lean back. We want to watch that we're not hunching or hyperextending through the back. <sighs> Trying to keep the arms and shoulder tight. Thirty seconds to recovery. Ten seconds. Three. Two, one, rest. 30 second recovery. We have one set to go. I teased you about it before. Bear hold. Option though. We're going to start. Knee down. The donkey kick. If you do want to level it up, then you can go back to your bear position. You kind of have that knee floating. One around one leg, other around other leg. This is our last Tabata today. Wrists under shoulders. Roll the shoulders back. Belly button is in, 30 seconds, so set it up first, flex the foot, squeeze your bum cheek, and then if you do want more, you can lift that knee up. So just like all of our movement when we're kind of doing a bit of rotation of the body, you want to watch that we're not opening, so that's where the core strength stability comes in, and focus on that big squeeze of the glutes. Check those shoulders, watch they're not creeping up. Rest for 15. Same move, other side. Roll out the wrist if you need, roll out the shoulders if you need. Reset when you're ready. Three, two, one. Flex the foot and kick. So you might notice it feels different on one side to the next. One side probably easier. So use your options as you go through the move. Really squeeze that bum cheek as you kick up towards the ceiling. Three, two, one, rest. Two down, four to go. 10 seconds, we're back in. Reset the position. Set the spine. Set the shoulders, set the abs, flex your foot, kick up. So knee grounded or lift that knee up. If you find that you're starting to come into a downward dog, best to drop the knee to the floor. Both options, you're gonna feel it. If you do float your knee, you're gonna get much more quad activation in that floating leg side. Totally up to you. Three, two, one, 15 rest. And switch over to the other side. Three, two, one, if you like. Drop the knee anytime you need to. Keep it grounded if you need to. Deep breaths in and out here. Three, two, one, rest. One more on each leg. 90 seconds of strike training. And your workout's done for today. Roll back and down. Three, two, one, kick up. Ten seconds, keep breathing. Three, 
two, one, drop and rest, roll it out, roll it out, 10 seconds, one more Tabata, 90 seconds strength, then we stretch. Set, three, two, one, lift. If you're lifting your knee and we kick away, big squeeze of the glutes. Last chance here. <clears throat> 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Amazing job. In 10 seconds or 90 seconds of strength, this is it. Fingertips to temples. Bicycle twists, oblique twists. We go in three, two, one. Elbows nice and wide. Opposite shoulder towards opposite knee. So we twist from the midline. If this is too much, you could tap your toe at any point. You can alternate between the levels. Try to get that shoulder blade right off the floor as you twist. And extend your leg nice and long. So legs up higher if your low back is bothering you or it's popping off the floor. A little bit lower for a bit more of a challenge for the abs. Take a break if you need to. Keep breathing. Core conditioning, you like to stop breathing. Deep breaths in and out. Seconds left. Oh, hang on, we're so close, so close. Five seconds. Three, two, one, oh, let it go, amazing job. Arms T-shape, bring your knees up, drop your knees to one side, look over the opposite shoulder if it's okay with your neck, release the low back. Just a couple of minutes to stretch, quick stretch here. You're welcome to take a bit longer if you need to. Knees to center, drop to the other side, looking over the opposite shoulder. to center, opposite angle over opposite knee, reach through the window, bring that knee towards your shoulder, keep the tailbone down, and this glute release here for all those donkey kicks. And we switch over. Release, take your time to come up on your feet. Quick stretch for the legs, quads, heel to glute, knee to knee, tip that hip forward, getting into that big quad muscle. And we take that foot we're holding on to, swing behind standing leg, arm comes up to an IT band stretch, stretching out the side body. Release, quads other side. Take that foot behind standing leg, up and over with your arm. Unwind, extend your arms in front, tuck the chin, a little bit of a back stretch. Open up your chest, squeeze shoulder blades together. Shoulder roll back a few times, forward a few times. And we twist it out. Give yourselves a round of applause. Amazing job. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Have an amazing rest of your day.